Catherine, to answer your question, standard precautions, also known as universal precautions, are used by all healthcare providers, not just nursing assistants. And it's called the standard or universal precautions because we do not know whose bodily fluids are contaminated or not. So the standard is that we treat all bodily fluids as if they are contaminated. And if we think we're gonna come into contact with a bodily fluid, we are to don gloves. This also is referred to clean techniques. So we also wash our hands. Now, there is another technique known as sterile technique or surgical asepsis technique. This is used in addition to the standard. So we use this in surgery and when we need to do certain procedures where the risk for sepsis is greater. So wound care where there's a hole or when we're inserting a Foley catheter into the body. Now, the reason why nursing assistants don't necessarily get to use sterile technique is because it requires a different set of steps and it's out of their scope in most cities and states. And it requires a different level of education. Now on board two, the standard precautions, which means you're gonna don gloves in the event that you come into contact with a bodily fluid, is for everybody across the board since they passed HIPAA, the Health Insurance and Portability and Accountability Act in 1996. <clears throat> now there is contact droplet and airborne precautions, however, which are used in addition to standard precautions. And these we call TBPs, transmission-based precautions, where we have to don extra personal protective equipment, such as gowns, gloves, mask. And this is when we know what pathogen they have and we know how it's transmitted. So it's based on how it's transmitted. So is it based on contact, like indirect contact where we touch something or, is it based on breathing in through the air? So they cough or they sneeze. Now remember, if one of the links of the chain of infection is broken, then we stop the transmission of the pathogen. And per the Center for Disease Control, the best thing healthcare providers can do to prevent sepsis is to wash our hands. I hope this helped you answer your question. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.